Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over all of the best money methods that you guys could be doing this week to make yourself millions of dollars and also lots of RP in GTA 5 Online. Now, luckily this week, Rockstar gave us a total of six really good money methods and one of them is completely brand new. We're going to be going over all of that in today's video, of course. But like I always say, before getting into the video, if you guys do want to enjoy, make sure you guys do me a favor and drop a like on the video. And if this is your first time coming across my YouTube channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe subscribe button so you don't miss out on a future GTA 5 video from me. But now let's get straight into the very first money method. Okay, so getting into the very first money method, this is the brand new money method that I was talking to you guys about. Now, if you guys want to start this up, what you need to do is press your pause menu and then go over to where it says online. Once you guys are here, now go down to where it says jobs, play job, and this time go down to the new option that says community jobs. Now, if you guys do not know what these community jobs are, I'm going to explain it in a little bit. But what you guys need to do is go to the stunt race section and you can start up whichever one of these stunt races because as you guys can see, they are all going to be paying double money and double RP. Now, as far as settings go for these game modes, you're going to want to make sure you put the race type set to non-contact, then come down to the number of laps and set it to the complete max amount. Now, don't worry, it's not going to go to the complete max amount because the next setting that you guys need to do is come down to where it says destroy last place and make sure that is set to 60 seconds. And if you guys are wondering why I like to put destroy last place every 60 seconds, basically what this does is make the race not as long as it needs to be. So let's say you have 10 people in the race with you. The race is only going to be 10 minutes long. If you only have five people in the race with you, it's only going to be five minutes long and etc, etc. That's why I really like running these settings. But OK, cool. We went over the settings. Now let's get to the actual racing part, which is the most important part of this money method. Now, while actually doing these double money and double RP community race jobs, you guys need to make sure that you guys are coming in either first, second or third place. If you guys are not coming in first, second or third place, I wouldn't even recommend doing this money method. Just skip throughout the video and do any one of the other money methods, because for this money method, you do need to come in either first, second or third place to make a decent amount of money if you guys are coming in anything after third place you're not going to be making that much money now let me just go ahead and skip straight to it and let me show you guys how much money every single person made in this custom stunt race and as you guys can see here is exactly how much money everybody got in the match first place got $71,000 second place got $53,000 and third place got $35,000 and of course this money method is good but now let's get into the next money method which I'm going to show you guys how to get $500,000 in less than 10 minutes now you only need to do three different things in order to actually get this $500,000 and let's go ahead and go over the first thing right now. Now the first thing we're going to be doing is going to be the regular time trial. Now if you guys do not know where the regular time trial is located at this week because it switches every week, here is the exact location. As you guys can see, it's going to be located right here at the Del Piero Pier. Now once you guys come over here, you're going to want to call out your fastest motorcycle that you guys do own. You can see right here, I got my Shitaro, but you guys can call out whatever fast motorcycle you do own. Now go on top of the time trial, click right D-pad and now just stay still. Open up your pause menu and come all the way over here to where the checkpoint is at and simply mark it. Now, once you guys have marked it, drop your pause menu, open up your phone, click right there in the middle where it says job list, then click X and then A. And now you guys will be quitted out of the time trial. Now, what you need to do next is line yourself up just like this. And then whenever you guys are ready, just click right on the D-pad to actually start the time trial. Now, once you guys start the time trial, the only thing you need to make sure that you do is you're holding RT all the way down and also your left joystick all the way up. If you guys do not know, that's how you go with the max speed on a motorcycle. A lot of people like doing wheelie but wheelies are more dangerous to do because if you hit like a curb or something yeah you're basically done but once you get to this exact part right here once you're going up the mountain you're going to want to make sure you're careful because if you go too fast you might launch yourself off of the mountain so once you guys are on these like little corners right here make sure you guys take your time anyway once you guys get to like this part right here you should be safe if you guys are here around one minute 30 seconds if you guys are here later than that you're most likely not going to beat it anyway here you guys can see i'm about to beat the time trial and here's exactly how much money you get for only one minute and 43 seconds you guys can see $101,000 and this is a super easy time trial. I promise you guys, you guys will beat it on the first try. Now let's go over the second step, which is going to actually get us $250,000. And that's of course going to be the HSW time trial. Now, if you guys do not know where this week's HSW time trial is located at, here is the exact location, literally right next to the regular time trial here at Del Piero. Now, once you guys come over here, of course, you need to call out your fastest HSW vehicle that you do own. You can see right here, I got my Coyo Cyclone too, but of course you can use whatever HSW vehicle you want. Now what you need to do is go on top of the HSW time trial, click right D-pad to start it, then open up your pause menu and just go overhead and mark right here where the checkpoint is at. Once you guys mark it, now open up your phone, click in the middle where it says job list, then X and A to quit. And now what you need to do is line yourself up just like this. Once you guys are lined up just like this, what you need to do is click right on the D-pad to start it. And all you need to do is literally follow the checkpoint all the way through. I promise you guys, as long as you don't crash, you should be able to beat this HSW time trial. And HSW time trials usually are very, very easy. Any 
anyway of course let's get to the money side of things and right once you guys get to the end of the hsw time trial here is exactly how much money you get you can see two hundred and fifty one thousand dollars for only one minute and 19 seconds now of course that's only the second step we have one more step that's going to get us the extra hundred thousand dollars to get that whole five hundred thousand now what you guys need to do to actually acquire this hundred thousand dollars is come over to this exact location on the map where the rc bandito time trial is located at you can see here is the exact spot on the map you need to come to once you guys do come over here though of course you do need an rc bandito to actually do this but go on top of the circle and click red d-pad to start it once you guys start it all you need to do is literally follow the checkpoints as it tells you guys i promise you guys this week's rc bandito time trial is super super simple the only thing you need to be careful of is when you're going up the building or the construction site building is that you don't hit the pillars just be careful for those pillars anyway once you guys do beat it here's exactly how much money you get you can see one hundred and one thousand dollars and now you guys have got yourself five hundred thousand dollars in around three or four minutes if you guys did them all on your first or second try anyway now let's go ahead and get into the next money method okay now this next money method i'm pretty sure almost every single person here knows about because we've had it for the last month but we also do have it this week so might as well cover it now if you guys do not know what i'm talking about i'm talking about the hot ring circuit races so if you guys want to do this just open up your pause menu go to online go to jobs go to play job go down to rockstar created then go down to stunt races right there at the very top you guys can see every single hot ring circuit race this week is going to be triple money and triple rp now start up whichever one you guys want to make sure for the settings you put the race type set to non-contact you put the number of laps set to the complete max amount and once you guys set it to the complete max amount now come down all the way to the bottom and make sure you put destroy last place every 60 seconds it's very important you guys put this setting this is going to make sure that you don't do the race for the entire amount of laps that you set it to now once you guys do end up starting the race i'm pretty sure you guys already know what i'm going to say now if you're not coming in first second or third place once again i wouldn't recommend doing this money method but if you can come in first second and third place this money method is going to be super super overpowered for you guys and i'm honestly just going to cut straight to it and i'm gonna show you guys exactly how much money you get for coming in first second and third place of course you already know your boy came in first place and here's how much money i got for first place you can see ninety-seven thousand dollars, which is very good and take a look at the amount of rp it's also super good as well Nineteen thousand rp but here's the really shocking part when you guys actually see how much time i spent in this race because you guys are probably thinking i spent a super long time but i actually did not take a look at how long i spent in this race you can see i was only in it for 10 minutes and that 10 minutes got me ninety-seven thousand dollars and nineteen thousand thousand rp of course you can see how much everybody else got below anyway now let's get into the last money method but this isn't really going to be a money method i just want to let you guys know about something you could take advantage of that could make you guys lots of money now this week in gta for you guys who own a special cargo warehouse if you guys go over to lupe which is somebody who can source you special cargo crates inside of your warehouse you can see you can actually pay her half of the amount that it normally would be before and she can still get you crates so basically this week in gta if you guys want to pay lupe or any one of your staff members to go source you crates it's going to be 50 percent off and that is pretty good because instead of paying nine thousand dollars for your uh staff to actually go get you crates you're only going to be paying three thousand seven hundred dollars and of course that's going to result in you getting more profits when you guys end up selling all of your crates but for you guys who do not own a special cargo warehouse you guys are lucky because every single special cargo warehouse this week is going to be 40 percent off as you guys can see i already took my uh, opportunity at this chance and bought all five max warehouses you guys can buy and if you guys are wondering they're all large and i'm going to be trying my best to fill them all up this week just because the crates are going to be 50 percent off and also one more thing i want to make sure you guys actually know when you guys are actually paying lupe or your staff members to go source you these special cargo crates they're going to bring you anywhere from one to three cargo crates it's completely random but either way however many you guys are getting you're only paying three thousand seven hundred dollars and it takes anywhere from 35 to 45 minutes to actually deliver to your warehouse but yeah that's now going to be the end of today's video i hope you guys did want to enjoy if you guys did want to enjoy today's video of course make sure you guys do me a favor and drop a like on the video if you haven't already and if you're watching the video till this point and you're not already subscribed to my youtube channel what are you guys doing i upload gta 5 videos like this all the time so make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and also notifications on so you don't miss out on another future gta 5 video just like this one anyway that's it for me and i will see you guys in my next video video. Peace.